The law of attraction. You know, I've read a lot of books on it. To like visualize what you want, write down what you want. To visualize what you want, write down your goals before you go to bed, think about it. When you wake up, you know, constantly think about it. And I noticed like after like two or three weeks of like doing that, it kind of stresses me out more than anything. Here's the approach that we would take. The way that we teach this is that you can't miss with this because contrast is going to cause you to ask. So you're asking whether you write it down or not. Life's just causing you to ask and source is gathering everything that you're asking for and putting it in this perfect relationship with each other and adding emphasis to it so that your desires are growing and getting clearer and bigger and better and cooperative components are already gathered in this vibrational realm, so to speak. So if your intention is to feel good, if your intention is to focus upon things that allow you to feel good, if your intention is to resonate with love and appreciation, then what happens is in this receiving mode, impulses occur to you. The reason that is sort of exhausting to you, it's like pushing a noodle. It's like getting out ahead of yourself. Here's the best way to explain it to you. The asking mode and the receiving mode are two entirely different vibrational frequencies. So if you are hammering away at what you want and why you want it, and you're trying to talk about it and visualize around it, and you're not really there, you're setting up an unnecessary resistance within yourself. And we call it too much effort. We call it trying too hard. We call it not letting the laws of the universe do what they will naturally do. Does that make sense to you? Perfect. <laughs> so just be easier about it. If it feels like a struggle, become more general. Give us an example of something that you have been writing or something that you've been wanting. If you want to give us an example of it in the way that you've been offering it in the way that's sort of making you feel tired of it. Well, like, I mean, anything I would say, maybe like Take the thing that matters the most. Yes. Maybe financially yes. like stuff. You know, once I graduate from college, I have a year left and so what kinds of things are you trying to script or write about or visualize to really never worry about money, money being an issue and say money or say, give us the words that in the process, in the way you were describing it, that feels a little problematic to you. I would say I am. So I would say I am, you know, I am a millionaire or I am. All right. So when you say I am a millionaire, but you don't believe that you are, you're introducing resistance into the equation right there. So you're being specific, more specific than your current vibration is able to sustain. So whenever you feel that tension, just back away from the specifics and say something that is more general, such as I have the potential for anything that I want. There'll be no resistance in that. I'm getting better and better at this. There'll be no resistance in that. Already I can feel improvement. There'll be no resistance in that. I know that this universe is abundant. I know that others who are now billionaires were one time standing right where I'm standing. I know that these processes work. I know that I'm coming closer into alignment with what I want. I like the idea of abundance. I like to look for the abundance in my own life experience, not just the financial, but the clarity abundance and the well being abundance and the physical energy abundance and the beautiful in the world abundance. I'm doing really well in this. I'm looking forward to the universe yielding to me a steady path. I understand that all of my abundance won't come all at once. That's all right. I like the steady stream of abundance that will be flowing to me. That is flowing to me. I love knowing that I'm the creator of my own reality. I love knowing that I can dream big. I love understanding how big what I've put into my vortex is. And I love knowing the energy that creates worlds and my own inner being that everyone's gathered to assist me in that. I can feel that my work is just to relax and allow it. I don't want it to all come at once. I want to savor it as ideas and pieces of it come. I like the idea of having my own hands in my own clay as I'm processing all of this. I like watching the abundance squirt into my experience in different Different ways. I like knowing that it will always be good for me. I like feeling my power of understanding. I like understanding the laws of the universe. I'm crazy about my own guidance system. I like knowing by this calm that I'm feeling right now that I'm right on track with what I'm wanting. It feels good to me to know that I can be or do or have anything that I choose. I like knowing that I can massage the energy. I like knowing that when I'm really sure of something, I can really lay on the specifics of it and really get the momentum going because I love that fast ride. And I love knowing that when it feels a little halting to me, that that's the time and it's all right for me to just slow down and catch my balance and be more general. 
I know that this is a sure thing. I know that now this idea has occurred to me about something that I want, that it must be. I can feel how long the journey has been even for me to get into the receiving mode and receive that idea. I understand that having received that idea means that I'm well along the way. I'm so looking forward to the details of how that will play out. I'm thrilled with the idea of the entrepreneurship that's flowing to me. It is exciting to me to think about those that I will meet. And it's exciting to me to know that I will know them when I see them. It's exciting to me to know that I can't miss in this and that there will be so many avenues through which things will flow. I love the power of my fascinating mind. I love the interest I have on so many different subjects. I love knowing the freedom I have to choose lots of different arenas at the same time. I can feel the cooperative universe surrounding me and participating with me. I look forward to each and every idea as it comes. I don't have to look out into the future and figure it out all at once any more than I have to plan a trip across the country and know every turn I'm going to take along the way. I know that I've got my feet under me and my stability and I know that I will intuitively know which way to turn and which way to go and when to put on the gas and when to slow down a little bit. I love knowing that I'm the creator of my own reality. There's nothing about this that I don't like. There's nothing about this that I don't know. Can you feel how productive that conversation was? Can you feel how easy it was just to step back from it and not not try to cram it, not try to force it, not try to figure it out. Just acknowledge the things that you can acknowledge and feel the vibrational frequency that you accomplished in that. Feel how your cork is floating. Don't all things feel possible right now? Doesn't it just seem perfectly logical that as you're riding the rhythm of that vibrational frequency, that an idea will come and that you'll know it when you see it and that it will be good. Hear this and that it will feed your appetite, your realization appetite as you go. You don't want to eat all the food that you're going to eat in the rest of your lifetime today. You think you do, but you really don't want to. It's nice when it keeps showing up and it keeps evolving given the different tastes that you have. Do you remember the things that you used to like to eat compared to the things that you now like to eat? Are you recognizing that your palate is becoming more sophisticated and your creative palate is too, you see. Your inner being knows everything that you've created. Your inner being knows not just the potential, but the vibrational reality is for you. And your inner being also knows where you stand in relationship to that and what resistance is on your trail and how to call you over and under and around and through this resistance. Not because you have to get past that resistance in order to get to the ending place that you want, but because that's the fun of the journey. It's just being flexible and going and knowing and feeling sure. Don't you feel sure right now? Don't you feel sure for him right now? In other words, yeah. But to say, I can do this and I'm really good at this. And by the end of this month, I'll have this much money. And by the end of this month, I'll have this much money. And these are the specific things that I, in other words, sometimes you work against yourself. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got this. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Really good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.